hello hello and welcome to my channel please remember to subscribe remember to like your comment down below and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video without wasting much of our time let's just jump direct into our video uh today we are going to be looking at how to convert a midi pattern into an audio clip or how to render a midi pattern into an audio clip so let's get into the tutorial now so what we are going to do now is we are going to look for a sound a piano sound a synth sound anything just for the purpose of our video so in this case i'm going to be using hypersonic i select hypersonic any piano so in this case we are going to have concert hall grand piano i like this one so we are going to reduce the size of the hall and the release okay I think it's it's better that way okay so piano hypersonic we open the piano row let's make anything a chord or a lead in this case we are going to make a chord a chord blah 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 makes sense so let's make it a bit complex the best to shift your chord to a higher octave you have, you have to place control and the up arrow button to shift it control down key i think it's okay of the video i think this one is okay let's go to playlist and add our pattern we add our pattern try to play okay it's okay okay now we have to render our midi pattern into our audio clip or we have to convert our midi pattern into an audio clip so what we have to do now is we have to select our midi pattern we go to this section and you right click you press the right click on your mouse and then you come to quick render as an audio clip 
quick render as audio clip it's done so once it's done you have to select again and then it's here so there is another way on which you can do this so we are going to go back so first of all let's try to play this one to be sure if it's the one This was our clip. our audio clip starts. Okay. Now you can see. So it's just the same. It has the same sound. One advantage of converting your MIDI button into an audio clip is uh when it is when you have got a lot of patterns on your project, uh, the project consumes a lot of memory of your computer. So, for the sake of the memory of your computer, it's better to convert some of the, sometimes you don't have to convert everything, some of the patterns, you have to convert them into audio clips for the sake of the memory of your computer. But if your computer is as a lot of memory it's okay you can you can just continue with patterns okay thank you another way of converting it is uh, there are times where maybe you have arranged your patterns your midi patterns in your playlist and then you don't want to start afresh arranging them all you have to do in that case is you have to place here right click of your mouse you go to re render and replace so what happens here is once you render and replace the audio clip the rendered audio clip is going to replace the midi pattern so it's going to be in favor of you when it comes to arranging the patterns in the playlist hope you understand what i'm saying so once you do that it has replaced your pattern, your MIDI pattern now. These are audio clips, as you can see. Try to play. Okay, that's all we had for you today. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe. You like, comment down below. You hit the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. For now, bye-bye.